This week for my digital tool review, I focused on the adapted literature page um, that is presented by the Paul V. Sherlock Center on Disabilities at Rhode Island College. Um, this is a really wonderful resource that has lots of adapted books um, and aims to make sure that literature is available to all um, and has lots of different tools that allow everybody to access um, wonderful books and resources. So I'm going to start by just going through some of the different books and formats that are provided. Um, this is just the main page where you're able to search for certain books, you're able to filter by different formats, by grade level, by the author, or by the alphabetical titles. Um, so some different ways that resources are offered are by PDF books. So I downloaded the adapted book, um, A Bad Case of the Stripes, which I have read to my class in the past. Um, so as you scroll through, the artwork from the book is still available, but the text is adapted to have um, picture cues with it to make it more accessible to learners. I really like um, that this website focuses on already published books. I've used adapted books in the past, but they've mostly been um, like books that authors on Teachers Pay Teachers created. They weren't common literature that students had heard of before. And then along with the books, many of the resources also have lesson guides. So this is the lesson guide for A Bad Case of the Stripes. Um, it has some different ideas. I like that a lot of the lessons um, relate to tactile and sensory needs. In addition, there are some songs available. Old MacDonald Had a Farm, adapted from the... Old MacDonald Had a Farm, E-I-E-I-O. So that's just a nice tool um, for learners who are motivated by music or sound. And then in addition to the books, there are also some PowerPoint presentations, and I'll go through some of those. So the first type of PowerPoint um, that you can use is a show. And this is when the book is presented in an interactive manner. Students can use a mouse or other devices, such as a switch, to move through the pages. Um, and I really love that these tools can be connected to switch devices. This is an example of one of those. A Christmas Carol. I'm going to kind of skip By through Charles the beginning. Cast of characters. Scrooge. Def Prologue. In the beginning, Ebenezer Scrooge and Jacob Marley were friends. Scrooge and Marley were also partners at work. So that's just an example um, of one of the shows that are created on this resource. Um, it seems like a really fun and engaging way for students to um, experiment with literature. The next um, PowerPoint type is VI, and these PowerPoints have black background and are created for students with visual impairments who need high contrast focus, focused images that convey book concepts. The book is read to the student and the student can change the slides using a switch or the mouse. Here's an example of a VI text. This is the name jar, which is another really popular um, text for young students. Adapted from the original text, Yoon is on the school bus. Yoon goes to school. Yoon thinks on the bus. Yoon misses her grandmother. So just another really cool and innovative resource. And then the final type of text is a CVI. These PowerPoints are, um, have a black background, use minimal detail picture movements, reduce color complexity, and incorporate many familiar images. And here's an example of one of those.
big green monster has two big yellow eyes. Big green monster has a long blue nose. So in addition to those resources, I really like that you can search for different texts. Um, for example, in my classroom, students really love Pete the Cat stories, so I love that I'm able to search for that and access a high quality adapted text of Pete the Cat. Um, and I just really appreciate that this resource um, allows for use with widely popular text so that students who need these accommodations can still share books um, that other students are using, can still talk about common topics. And then one last other feature I really love is the adapted lessons that are mostly focused on science and social studies, um, but have some other really great tools for um, making learning accessible to all students. I really love this resource and I'm very excited to use it in my classroom.